welcome to step three of make a print book and this video is on the press quality PDF basics. There's one simple aim here to convert an InDesign file into a press quality PDF. Now, PDF stands for portable document format. You should be familiar with them from using them regularly on your computer. It's easy to make them in Microsoft Word but the quality, the default quality is not press quality. When you send your files to a printing company for printing, whether that printer is a print-on-demand company or a local printing company that's going to print bulk stock, they both like to get the files as press quality PDFs. One file for the cover and one file for all the pages in the book. So let's see how we're going to make a press quality PDF in this InDesign file. It's really easy. It's not much more advanced than doing a save as. First go up to file and you'll see two options here. One is Adobe PDF presets. You can use this if your export button is not showing. Sometimes I've seen versions that don't show the export button. And you can go for press quality but I prefer if you went via export. So click on export and it will ask you what type of file would you like to save. Now Adobe PDF print is what we're after. What else is there I hear you ask? Well there's Adobe PDF Interactive that was would be for ebooks and there are all sorts of other formats so stick with Adobe PDF print, click on save and then it comes up with a dialog box that this one I've already used press quality so it's already gone to press quality but you can see all the options there. Funnily enough high quality print isn't the one to go with. That's for printing high quality photographs but for print books use press quality. Now all the defaults in this page I'm going to just say yep yeah, accept them. If you then click on marks and bleeds I'm going to ask you just to check the box that says crop marks. Now having said that most print on demand printers don't want you to check this but this is just to show you what's involved and then we go down to the bottom right and click export and we're just about done. Give it a few moments for the press quality PDF to be made and then go to your folder where it should be and there's the press quality PDF. It's been made behind the scenes by Adobe Acrobat Professional and that's usually bundled with InDesign or indeed Photoshop. So we're going to double click to open it and there it is. Now you can immediately see the crop marks. I'm going to just lift this up a bit by clicking on the grey area and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so we can see it all on one page. There it is. Now you can see the crop marks in the corners. I'm going to go through the four pages. There's the image, there's the third page of just the block of colour and the fourth page. I'm going to close it now by clicking on this X here and there you can see Adobe Acrobat X Pro. Okay I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back to Adobe Basics InDesign. Sometimes when you click to close it does say do you want to save what you've done. Just click yes and you're finished. Thank you for watching and please remember to comment or click like if you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more videos in this series then why not click to subscribe.